Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, this is the only other side quest that's here. We picked it up from this guy. Um, we've got it. Um, I guess I should talk about what happened last time. My brain totally stopped and like, wow, that was a terrible intro to this. And we've already made it back around. Okay, so. Last time, we came to this strange world where the Star Forge is on, and we learned that the Rakata had been split into two tribes, and we basically stopped the Savage tribe and, um, well, basically killed all of them. And here we are at the Elder tribe, which are far more uh, palatable, aside from the whole eugenics thing that they've got going on. Yeah, that's that's kind of a, a, a bad part to them. But, you know, they're, they're better in, in other ways. Greetings once again, Revan. I'm glad you have returned. I couldn't believe that you had betrayed us, despite what the Council said. Uh, who are you? My name is Osa. Or Orsa. I am the keeper of the history for the Elders. Last time you were here, you had many questions for me. The Council told us all the, the destruction of your memories, but I had still hoped you might recall something of our past discussion. I wish I could remember, but I don't. Sorry. There's no need to apologize. It just pains me to know that all you had learned from us la has been forgotten. Still, I would be happy to instruct you again. Actually, I do have a few questions for you. Yes, of course. Although you must forgive me if some of the starts to seem familiar. After all, we did go into the history of the Rakata at some length last time you were here. I will do my best to enlighten you with the knowledge I hold. What subject is it? do you wish to learn about? Uh, tell me about the beginnings of the Rakata Empire. Long ago, we Rakata were a great sparse-faring people. Our ships combined technology and the power of the Force, and we were able to plot them to the farthest reaches of the galaxy. Everywhere we went, we found civilizations less advanced and weaker than our own, but instead of helping them advance, we conquered and enslaved them. Back then, we could still command the force. That, combined with our advanced technology, made our march of conquest irresistible. Soon the infinite empire stretched across the entire galaxy. Over time, we lost the ability to use the force. Some believe we had used the force for so long we evolved biologically and became immune to its effects. In any case, once we lost our sensitivity to the force, our empire began to fracture. We had to revert to more conventional space travel and using inferior technology. Our ultimate collapse was inevitable. How did the Rakata Empire collapse? Long ago, Rakata ruled all the known galaxy. All the species bowed down to us, but we were a corrupt people, and in our fall from glory, there were terrible lessons that must be learned. The Infinite Empire was built on slaughter. It was inevitable. It should collapse upon itself. War, plague, and slave rebellion forced us to retreat back to where, to here to our hidden homeworld. Here, conflict among power-hungry warlords escalated into full civil war. Terrible weapons of mass destruction were unleashed, driving most of the Rakata far beneath the earth for shelter. The devastation ravaged the world. Our people were scattered, our cities levied, leveled, and our existence all but erased. The glory of the Infinite Empire is now nothing but dust and bones. In the past few thousand years, small bands of Rakata have begun to return to the surface, but they are primitive and superstitious creatures. Only we elders remember anything of the true past. Um, do you know how to disable the disruptor field that caused my ship to crash? The disruptor field is one of the ancient defenses of the Starforge, a great generator within the Temple of the Ancients fuels it. You will have to enter the temple to disable it. I want to ask you something else. Uh, I will do my best to enlighten you. Um, tell me about the tribe of elders. We elders are descendants of the holy priest caste of the Infinite Empire, survivors of the terrible weapons unleashed by the warlords during the final collapse of our empire. Inside the Temple of the Ancients, our ancestors were safe from the devastation that forced other Rakata to flee underground. We emerged from the temple to find an empty and ruined land. At last, we understood the terrible power of our own technology. To ensure it could never be unleashed upon us again, we sealed the t ancient knowledge within the temple. Uh, let's see what else. What do you know about the other tribes? Many centuries ago, the Rakata began to emerge from the underground warrens where they had sought shelter from the devastation of the warlords. But these Rakata were as violent as the warlords that, that, that they had fled so many millennia ago. After centuries of battle and bloodshed, the tribe of the One has emerged as the strongest of them all. Now the One, lured by half-remembered legends of his people, lusts to possess the terrible power locked inside the temple. We can al never allow that to happen. Have you tried reasoning with the One? 
When the one first arrived on this island, we sent emissaries under a flag of truce to try and negotiate with this tribe, but all our envoys were brutally slaughtered. We do have the technology to destroy the one and his followers, but if we kill them all, then we only prove that we have learned nothing over the past 20,000 years. The one is mad with power. We choose not to fight him, so our only course of action is to stay here in isolation where we are safe, just as we have done for the past 20,000 years. Let's see what else. Uh, we already... Oh, can you tell me about the Starforge? Much of our knowledge of the Starforge is lost. It was built during the height of the Infinite Empire long ago. All we know now is that it casts a terrible shadow across our world. We elders have longed to destroy the Starforge for many generations, to cleanse ourselves of its evil presence. But we have neither the knowledge nor the capa capability. When you and Malik last came here, we saw you as saviors. We let you into the temple so you could destroy the Starforge, but instead you harnessed its dark power for yourselves. You awaken a dormant evil. Your fleet helped spread across, helped spread corruption of the Starforge throughout the galaxy. And now you return as the last hope to stop what you once started. Alright, well, I gotta go. Yes, of course, you have much to do and little time to do it. But if you ever have any questions for me, I will be happy to try and answer them. So we get experience for learning about them. Computer room, huh? Well, this is interesting. What's this? User verification. User species non ricotta Access to auxiliary archives is restricted to ricotta or approved servants. Slaves may not access the archives. Excuse me? I do serve the ricotta. How else would I learn the language? Logical. The user speaks the language of the ricotta in order to serve them. User added to authorized list of non ricotta Notice, further information can be obtained from the main archives within the Temple of the Ancients. Downloaded codes to bypass exterior energy fields surrounding Temple. The archives are ready for information retrieval and download to into remote store datapad storage. Please select the topic. Oh. How can I shut off the disruptor field? Searching, retrieving information. Disruptor field is controlled by a generator within the Temple of the Ancients. Once inside the Temple, the disruptor field and the energy barrier around the Temple can both be deactivated. Okay. I am looking for the secrets of the ancient ricotta. Searching, retrieving information. Secrets are locked within the Temple of the Ancients. The elders sealed this information away to prevent the technology from falling into the wrong hands. Interesting. How can I get into the temple? Searching, retrieving information. The shields constructed by the elders to guard the temple are controlled from the summit of the structure. Anyone inside the temple may temporarily shut down the shields. There's only one way to get access to the temple from the outside. The shields are designed to lower in response to a ritualistic chant detailed in the ancient text by the Keeper of the History. To protect the secrets of the temple, the chart will only work if spoken by the Rakata. No other species can create the proper intonations that will trigger the shield deactivation. Huh. Alright. Uh, tell me about the Starforge. Searching error, no information for Starforge detected. Information may be recovered in the databanks within the temple. Okay. Let's see what else there is. History of the Ricotta. At its peak of the Infinite Empire, the Ricotta ruled over 500 planets and was compromised of 10 billion Ricotta and over a trillion slaves slaughtered across the galaxy. But over time, the Empire grew weak and corrupt and turned against itself. Civil war, slave rebellions, and a great plague spread throughout the galaxy. A plague? Its origins were unknown. Perhaps the creation of an enslaved species, perhaps a mutation of a natural virus, it killed only Ricotta, and it spread to every corner of the galaxy. The Infinite Empire crumbled into dust as the Ricotta survivors fled back here to their home world, isolated and hidden from the rest of the galaxy. But even hidden here on this forgotten planet, they were not safe. Millions died from the deadly plague. Many more died in the never-ending civil war. The history of the Infinite Empire ended nearly 20,000 years ago. Now the Ricotta are nothing but a few scattered primitive tribes battling for dominance and control. Okay. So that's interesting. There were only 10 billion Ricotta. Now, think about that. 10 billion Ricotta. That is only 3 billion more than the planet's population of Earth. Like, that's absurd to me. 10 billion ruled over a trillion? Hmm. That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem possible. Like, they would be spread so thin across all of their planets. I mean, 500 planets given, but still, it's not a lot. Uh, one thing I want to do real quick. We haven't taken care of the other um, Rancor that are near the temple, as well as the Mandalorians. So I want to go back and do that before we agree to go into the temple with them. Because once we go in, we're sort of alone. Oh my god, did they already respawn? Crap, really? 
That's actually really annoying. Oh, were you not in... There we go. Wasn't in range. Come on. There it is. That's really annoying. Does that mean everything up there also respawned? Because we haven't done the Mandalorian stuff yet. Hmm. I mean, technically the side quests related to the Mandalorians is related to uh, the other Rakata tribe. They all really respawn? There's no way. No, the ones here did not respawn. Yeah, the Rakata here did not. All right, so let's real quick go through here. We'll take out this ran these Rancor. I don't know if it'll... Oh, really? Nope. Oh my god, it saved twice in a row? There it is. It's sort of my MO now. Just... Stasis them and... Murderize. Yeah, look at that. It's so, so... Useful. Maybe I should have taken Critical Strike, too. Okay, so that's everything on this side. I believe the other side has the Mandalorians. And then we'll head back to the Elder Rakata, tell them we're ready to go, to go inside. We can't access the temple yet without them. I believe if we just go up, I don't think anything even happens. I think it just doesn't let us go through. Powerful energy shield that prevents you from passing. Yeah. Nothing really changes there. Um, so I believe if we go this way... We'll be able to activate the, uh, invisible Mandalorians. No? Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh boy, there's a lot of them. Um, well, we're, we were able to get a few of them. Oh, come on. They rooted me. Alright. Stasis, there we go. They're not super strong, but, uh, they do hurt, especially with all the stuff they use. Okay, let's not step in the middle of all that. Oh, why did you all group up in one spot? I mean, not that I'm complaining, it makes it a lot easier for me. Oh, I got a journal entry. I'm guessing that dude was the big boy. There we are. Power shield. Mandalorian head, Mandalorian assault armor. I will take that. Thank you very much. So, if you had done the side of the one, and uh, I guess, huh, if you lie to him about why you're there, would you be able to get this quest? They're basically just a, like an extra chest appears with some goodies, but it's not really that important. I do wonder if you lie to them about why you're there, can you get that quest? Come here, deal with the Mandalorians, finish it, and then still do the elder thing? I truly don't know. I'd, I've never done that before. Oh, well, it's not a big deal. We've killed all of them at this point, so it's not really, well, no, because it would be on the beach. So they're not even going to spawn right now because we're not part of that. Um, we didn't, like, set off the flags. At least I don't think they'll spawn. 
Oh my god, these guys are gonna respawn every time, huh? Wow. That wow, stunned the Rancor, too. Okay. And now that we're done there, let's go talk to them. And they'll let us through. And I think that's everything, right? Invisible Mandalorians. You prove them wrong. It's not a completed quest. Hmm. I mean, we got the quest. Oh, I think we could turn it into that person, but I think it won't let us. Well, we'll see. We'll go back to the beach eventually. You have returned, Revan. Are you ready to enter the temple now? I want to enter the temple. It's time for you to come to atone for your past crimes, Revan, but the task ahead will be difficult. Those call you Dark Jedi, followers of your old apprentice, now dwell within the temple. What? There's Dark Jedi inside the temple? How'd they get in there? The last time you and Malak entered the temple, you have found the controls to raise and lower the shields. Those inside can lower the barrier and allow the Force users to enter and exit the temple. But they will not be able to prevent us from using the ritual to gain you access. Once inside, however, we can do nothing to help you. So let me take my people! Go to the temple now. We will meet you there once the ritual has been prepared. Remember, in accordance with ancient Rakata tradition, you must enter the temple alone. That's... Mm. That's a problem. Let me guess. The Rancor have already respawned? No, thank you. You really don't want to fight Rancor over and over and over and over again. Like, it does get annoying after a while. Okay. So... I'm really curious. I kind of want to go down to the beach and see if I can't, um, if I can't actually turn in this quest, even though I'm not with the one. But I mean, we're going to go down to the beach anyway, so it's not a big deal. Well, there they all are. Uh, I hate you. I will begin the ritual. It will take many hours, but when it is complete, you must be ready. The shields will not stay down for long. Prepare yourself. Yeah, so they're going to chant for quite a while. Wait, someone is coming. Oh. Wait, you can't go in there alone. What are you doing here? We have had a, a premonition. The Force has given us a vision. There is great danger within the temple. We cannot let you face it alone. You might be walking into a trap. Maybe Malak himself is waiting inside. Even if he isn't, that temple will be crawling with Dark Jedi. You'll need all the help you can get. No other can go with you into the temple. You must enter alone. That is the way of the ancient ritual. I'm not going in alone after all. Lower the shields. No, you must enter the temple alone. I will not lower the shields. I don't know what he said, but it sounds like your guide's being stubborn. We don't have time for this. The Republic fleet is on the way and we're stuck on this planet until we deactivate that disruptor field. You have to convince him to get us inside that temple. I cannot destroy the Star Forge alone. They must come with me into the temple. I, I believe you. The elders have said you wish to destroy the Star Forge and end the terrible legacy of our ancestors. If you need help to do this, I will not stand in your way. Damn right you won't. I resume the ritual now. I get the feeling this is going to take a while. Still, we better stay ready. As soon as those shields go down, we have to get inside the temple. Hmm. Annoyingly, Juhani's going with us, but her lightsaber isn't upgraded. 
poop. Alright, so Jahani's just gonna have a normal ass lightsaber. It's really annoying, actually. Thankfully, her armor's set. Lord Malak, the preparations are nearly complete. Every day, the Star Forge adds more ships to our fleet. It is operating at nearly 300% of our projections. The fleet is assembling around the Star Forge and awaits your instructions. Patience, Commander. My new apprentice is nearly ready. Once Bastion adjoins her battle meditation to our enormous fleet, we shall be invincible. Then we shall begin our final conquest of the Core Worlds, and the Republic will be crushed forever. As you wish, Lord Malak. Jeez. Well, now we know why he wears the mask. Because he doesn't have a lower jaw. Probably given to him by Revan. Oh, yeah, Jahani, we should probably level you up, considering, you know, you were missing. Level 18. Level 18. I'm the only one that's level 20, huh? Alright. So, let's see what's in these side wings first. Lots of temple doors. Very pretty view. A troll droid, huh? Let's see what this destroyed droid power does. Nearly annihilates the patrol droid in one hit. Very, very powerful force power. Look at that. Are we overpowered against droids? Yeah, well, yeah, we are, but whatever. So I'm just clearing the perimeter. I mean, there's no reason not to. I think there's only just two more patrol droids on the other side. And nothing else, really. That being said, I do not remember what all is inside of the temple. Ooh, can I destroy boys? There we go. Oh, goodness. I... I do not know the layout of this place whatsoever. Are these all, like, singular rooms? I mean, there's a lot of containers here. That's nice, but I don't really need all this stuff. So, like... Okay, that was a singular side door. I could sort of see it from the outer, um, from the mini-map. I can sort of see the layout. Good grief, this place is huge. Alright, who's in here? Just gonna stasis everybody and quickly kill them. Alright, this is a self-contained room. That's inner temple door. Oh, you dropped something. Just credits. Oh, big droid. Hello? Why wouldn't it let me use the power? That's really weird. So I believe that goes into the interior temple as well. So now... I believe like there's basically four corners that are all done like that. Like, all of them with the same layout? Oh, hello. Huh, they don't even notice I'm here. Look at that, destroyed the droid. And then I stasis them. And then I eliminate them.
Oh, there was like some, uh, probably something through the wall that it. Okay, nothing here. Interesting. This is also closed off. Stasis you. This is a closed off room. All to itself. Just a bedroom, huh? Okay. Now we've done a hundred... Like a total... Run around. I don't want to go to the main center area yet. I want to check out all these different wings. I should have been checking these as I was going through, but it's not a big deal. Full of Dark Jedi. Everywhere. I like how they just wait, because they're like, oh, I guess he's just going to kill everybody, huh? Why is the game being so... Wonky. Access the goddamn box. Access the box, please. Okay, maybe that box is inaccessible. Because it just does not want me to. Oh. Oh my god. Not this, again. this is where the game breaks apart a little bit. Because, like, you saw that. I can't take my turn if I can't get to them, but, like, the effects that they're doing are not turn-based. It's like a pseudo-turn-based game. It's really weird in that way. Right. Another way into the temple proper. Let's open up this door. Another acolyte. Just sort of waiting around, doing nothing. But that looks like a computer console. Is it? It is a computer. So, if you wanted to slice, you could do it here, I believe. Um, We have a lot of spikes, why not? Yeah, so now we can see everything. North security room. Oh, that's us. Look at that. Let's not override. <laughs> South security room. We killed everybody. East guard post. Oh, my. Uh, West guard post. Yeah, so there's a lot of these things, but, like, honestly... We don't really need to worry about it. Armory exterior? Oh. There's a lot of stuff here. Obelisk corridor. Oh my. A lot of sentry torts. Uh, north corridor? You're already there. That's how you turn off the patrol droids. Okay. So nothing that we really care about. Yeah. I could have activated stuff, but, like, frankly, it's just not worth it. I mean, I guess my compatriots would get XP, but we don't really need XP anymore, so... Just gonna let it be. Oh. Oh, well. Ooh. Lots of stuff in that one. Okay. What's behind this door? Bunch of mines. I think I could disable these. Didn't work. Nope, apparently not. Oh, set them off. Rune covered pillar, huh? Ooh, a crystal. Yeah, we definitely want that. It's a good crystal. All right, I guess we could just start heading inward now.
Oh, hey guys. Who dares intrude on our meditations? You know the penalty for... Riven, you are back. Uh, I serve the Jedi Council now. Malak told us what happened to you. The Jedi Council has stripped you of your power. You are a shell of what you once were. You are not fit to rule the Sith anymore, Revan. Darth Malak will reward us greatly for destroying you. Meh. Right side points. Oh, really? Oh, he just insta-kills us? Excuse me? What the hell just insta-killed us? No, seriously, what the what? Okay, hold on. What? We were insta-killed by poison. Like, legitimately died immediately. What? I... What? <sighs> now, of course, we have to restart the whole thing because we were just put here. I, I have never seen that happen. Ever. Like, legitimately ever in playing this game, I have never seen it insta-kill me. That's really annoying, actually. Now we gotta go through all of this all over again. Oh my goodness. Really? Why am I missing? He's literally stunned. All right, um, I'm gonna go through all the same doors and stuff that we've already been through. God, this glitched out box. Why is this area so weird? Yeah, I'll get back to where we just were. Okay, I've made it back here. I actually reprogrammed a droid and it went up the center passage and started fighting. So let's see what it found. Oh my, more droids. But it's okay, cause droids are easy to kill. So we took care of that. This is a way to the intersection. I don't know what's beyond this. Oh, well, it's a way down. We definitely want to take out everybody we can first, though. So what? Hmm. Where would this door lead, then? So if we were to go in here, and then go up. Oh, oh we already checked this out. I just didn't do this again. So theoretically, there's a Dark Jedi behind this door, if we're mirroring. Oh, you guys got level ups this time, though. So I will take that. Are you totally, like, equipped with everything, too? I could give you better strength gauntlets. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, let's see what's behind here. Really? There we go. Another computer and more doors. Oh, we've already been in here. Huh. And this just leads out to another... Oh, goodness, nope, we haven't been here. But further down this corridor, there's even more droids. Come on, take it out. It's a droid. It literally can't move. This is a dead end? Really? Okay, then. I thought there was something here, but I guess not. Maybe there is, and we just haven't gotten to it. Anything from this computer? 
Oh, just another security computer. Okay, so we've explored all of that. We know the center has a thing going down here. I guess let's go face these Dark Jedi again and not die instantly to whatever they have that, like, insta-killed me? I th that was so strange. I'd never, ever experienced something like that in this game before. Here they are. Who did? I am Revan. I serve the light. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I actually got one of them. Look at that. I'm going to turn on my big buffs here because these guys are a little bit sturdier. Ooh. Managed to stun him again, huh? Ah, she's healing him with force heal. Oh, we killed him. Oh, hello. What? Revan, Lord Malak told us you still live. At last, a challenge worthy of my skills. I grow so bored with slaughtering these mindless training droids. I intensified my training tenfold in hopes I would get the chance to face you in mortal combat. I am glad to see my training has not been in vain. Oh, okay. Hey, dude. Okay, so you saved. Come on. That Unfortunately, he is quite resistant to my attempts to stun him. Oh, but he's almost dead. Whoa! Again with the, like the near insta killing. Just kill him already. Whoa, how did he go from almost dead to... Bunch of health. Oh, wow. His force lightning hurts. Just kill him already. How is he near health? Full health? What the heck is happening? There it is. Jesus. That's crazy. The amount of damage he was able to do. Maybe, ooh, Upari Crystal, Dark Jedi Master Robe. Power Gauntlets, Sith Power Gauntlets. The Upari Crystal is good. It's one of the best crystals in the game. Are the Sith Power Gauntlets better? Strength plus three. Ooh, they are good. Jolie, you deserve this. Wait, did we get two of them? Oh, we did. So you both get Sith Power Gauntlets. Unfortunately, it's not enough to really give you guys a huge boost, but... It's something. All right, heal you guys up. Because I have an endless abundance of force, it seems. What's on the other side of this? Armory. Well, I'll take what's in here. Oh, there's a workbench. Lovely. That's what I wanted to see. Well, give me what's in the locker already, game. Come on. Like, do you really need to have a locked locker in the locked room. Come on, game. Powered battle armor. Interesting. I guess that's one of the reasons they keep it locked. Now this, none of this stuff is, like, particularly amazing to me. Okay. All right, so let's see. We've got 
Opilla in here, which is attack bonus 2, energy bonus 3, massive criticals 2d6. So we picked up Upari, which is a uh, bonus energy 1d6, blastful deflection increase plus 8. Wow. And we also picked up Sabbath. Damage bonus energy 4, attack bonus 3. So this isn't like it. It's, they're not amazing things. What about the other side? This is Solari. 2d6 against the light side. No, that's... Yeah, okay, that's just better than anything else. Okay, what about my other lightsaber? This is currently Opilla. Massive Criticals. And the Crate Dragon Pearl is... Tech bonus 3, bonus energy 1d8. Yeah. Oh, wait. Wow. Upari is actually better, just strictly better than the Great Dragon Pearl. That's crazy. Okay. I don't know if I want to put anything into yours right now. Here, I'll give you a stun chance and I'll give you... I guess a robot. Because we're not going to use Juhani, we're going to replace Juhani. Do I still have the double-bladed lightsaber? How do I know which one of these was the one that, um... She was using... Oh, okay. So I made it purple. So she has a sigil there, and a diamond there. I just want to get this ready for her, really. We'll give her the crate Dragon Pearl. And instead of sigil... Um... No, nah, Sigil's still best there. I mean, it's only attack bonus one, but there's 1d6 extra damage. I mean... So that turns it to... 7 to 25 attack modifier plus 5. And having the Sigil... Five to twenty-eight plus four. Yeah, that's just better. That means I can give Jolie some better stuff. Fabric. So that's against two d six against Droid. We're not going to be fighting too too much Droid. I'll give him Sapith there, and yeah, we'll keep that one. Okay. A little bit better off now. Got some upgrades. Lovely. And I think... The only thing we haven't explored yet is the staircase down... Or... The front door, which should be two droids, I believe. There's no other entrance there. No, there's not. I believe it's the staircase down in the back, but... It doesn't hurt to check out this front door real quick. Oh. Okay, I guess we just come back through that door. Alright, well that means that we just have to go around and go through the back. Perfect. And we're on our way. Yeah, we've already unlocked all of this. We've already been through to the end of that corridor and everything cool. Yeah. Alright, we've explored everything so far. Good for us. Doing the work. All right, let's head down. The temple door. Oh my god, where are they? Guys, please. Where did you get stuck? No, but really, where where did where did you get stuck? can't bring you guys anywhere. Really? Alright. Let's go into the catacombs. Nope. More droids. 
It's okay, because we have Uber destroying droid powers. That's why you don't really need to make your lightsabers good against droids, because frankly, like, the destroyed droid power will annihilate them. A data pad? What does the data pad say? Oh, sure, new items. Let's see. Data pad. Novice Sith such as yourself cannot be trusted to even remember such simple tasks, Acolyte. It is therefore prudent to for your masters to explain themselves at length using very small words. The ancient sequencer on the lower levels can be activated once all the sequence tiles on the floor have been set to their active mode by walking on them in the correct pattern. To make all the tiles the same color, simply walk in the tiles with a pattern of an H. I trust there will not be another unfortunate incident like the last time. Okay. These are all deadly frag mines. We're gonna have to take two of them. Alright, I'll take all three. It doesn't matter, because I want whatever is in here. Another Sapith crystal. Strongest crystals in the game are here. Although Sapith does not seem like the strongest. It's just a good crystal, you know? The straight plus three to hit makes him pretty good, but not amazing. Alright. Walk on them in an H pattern. Huh. Oh. I see. And that's a reset. Oh god, does the trigger play every time? Nope. Damn it! The problem. Okay. You can't, like, turn normally. No, can you? <laughs> Does it work? That worked. All right, that, pro that was not the way that you were supposed to do it, but it sort of worked. It <sighs> Whatever. There's nothing else in here? Hmm, okay. Mercada Computer. Welcome back, Revan. It has been some time since you last accessed my database. I was beginning to wonder if you had been terminated. I almost was, but I'm hard to kill. An obvious conclusion given your presence here. However, my sensory input systems are detecting some significant changes in your composition since your last visit. Your neurological patterns exhibit subtle yet substantial alterations in both thought patterns and the information processing. These changes have been noted and recorded in my database. Your database? I am a completely self-sufficient, autonomous, interactive database constructed by the Rakata to record and store the entire history of the species. However, since the collapse of the Infinite Empire, there have been few events worth recording, and nobody has sought to access the information stored within my database until you came along. Due to my system's inability to monitor and repair themselves, you will find all the data within my archives has remained fully intact. Please choose the topic you wish information on. Looking for genetic data on the Rakata. My storage banks contain significant quantities of information on this subject, compiled through the hundreds of years of research and study. Please wait while I load the information onto a data pad for your future reference processing. Information transfer complete. Is there anything else you require, Revan? Um, yeah, there's a lot going on here. Tell me about the Starforge. Starforge was constructed during the apex of the Infinite Empire's power, a true technological marvel. It is an enormous space station that serves as both factory and battle dreadnought. The Starforge can produce, mass produce immense fleets with the minimum of time and resources. In addition, the Starforge also shares much of the same technology used in my own construction. In many ways, the Starforge is like a living entity. It feeds, it hungers, it draws on energy flowing through it, all living things. What you call the Force the last time you were here. The ability to feed and consume the living energy of the Force is the key to the Starforge's power, but ultimately it also led to the destruction of the Infinite Empire. 
What do you mean? The Ricotta are by nature a cruel and savage species. The Starforge fueled itself with the hatred inherent in its own creators, and in doing so it accentuated these traits within the builders. In your terminology, the Starforge is a tool of the dark side. It corrupts those who use it, and it can generate greater and greater amounts of negative energy to fuel itself. The builders thought they were strong enough to control this effect, but they were wrong. They became victims of their own creation, and eventually their hatred turned them against each other. Civil War destroyed the Infinite Empire. A lesson to remember. Only one who is immensely strong in mind can harness the power of the Starforge without suffering a similar fate. Want to ask you something else? Um... How can I shut off the disruptor field around this planet? The disruptor field is contracted by the Starforge's primary defense against enemy attack and can only be deactivated from the upper levels of the temple. How can I get to the upper levels? My systems control the doors to the upper levels, allowing only those who are worthy of the Ricotta legacy to pass. Last time you were Revelant, I unsealed the doors for you. However, the subtle neurological changes I detected in you earlier likely caused the failure of the recognition system that would have opened the doors for you. I have updated my database to recognize the new configurations in your mind, Revan. The doors to the upper levels once again open for you. Let's see what else we can get. Um... Do you, know any, do you know anything about the star maps? Star maps were built on conquered worlds as a symbol of Rakatan dominance and glory. Each map showed the whole expanse of the Infinite Empire with the Star Forge at the center. With the Empire fell, the Rakata fled back here to their homeworld. They sabotaged the star maps so enslaved species could not use them to discover the Star Forge or this planet. But I used the star maps to find this place. Star maps were created with the same technology as my own self-sufficient systems. Over the millennia, the maps have been slowly rebuilding and repairing themselves. As, in, as you informed me during your last visit to my world, the star maps are still in a damaged and incomplete state. It is not possible to look at the star forge using a single map. However, the star maps have repaired themselves to the extent that it is possible to discover the star forge's location by combining bits of data from several of the maps, as you did. Yeah, so that's all we got here. Um, tell me about the history of the Infinite Empire? Oh, no, we already saw this. Um, oh, the plague. Never mind, we didn't read about this. Origins are unknown, perhaps the creation of an enslaved species. Oh, no, we heard about all of this. Yeah, we heard about all that before. Okay, we got experience, we got items. Wait, items received. Did we get the thing that I want? Oh. No. We are going to get one more, like, robe. But we didn't get that yet. Okay. I don't know what the item received was. Oh, the data pad. I see. Okay, never mind. Now we go back up. And we can get in through that front door now. Oh, this place is such a maze. I mean, you are all following me. You are following, right? Okay, good. Don't get stuck. So pretty out there. Repeating textures are not. It's still pretty. Okay, we'll get done with this temple, we'll get done with the world, uh, I'll turn in the quests, and that'll be it for this episode. And then the next one, we're going to end up heading up towards the uh, Star Forge itself, which is where Malik is. Oh, hey, we can enter here now. Ow. How did that not hit you? I didn't see you too far. Okay. Make a save, because I think there's a boss at the end of this? I could be wrong. Here goes the upper level. Ooh. This looks cool. Nothing in there. Thanks, game. Grenades. Oh, yeah, we haven't been using grenades for a while. Oh, look, there is a boss. Who, oh, who could this be? 
I wonder. Ooh. Bastila, huh? Revan, I knew you'd come for me. Malak thought you might be afraid to enter the temple again. But he doesn't know you like I do. Not anymore. Not since you've changed. Quickly. Bastila, come with us. We have to escape before Malak arrives. Escape? You don't understand. I have sworn allegiance to Lord Malak and the Sith. I am no longer a pawn of the Jedi Council. No, Basila, don't go over to the dark side. You say that as if the dark side is some terrible entity. The Jedi Council has brainwashed you like all the others. Like they once did with me. They speak of the dark side as if it is something to be feared. But in reality, their only goal is to manipulate those who are strong in the Force. The fear of the dark side is a tool to maintain control. Why do you think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Mandalorian Wars? They knew you would realize your true potential and break free of their domination. Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. Hmm. It's not too late, Basla. You could still turn away from the dark side. I resisted it first. I endured the Sith torments with the passionless serenity of a true Jedi, emptying my mind. But after a week of endless tortures, I finally saw the truth. Malak forced me to acknowledge my anger and pain. He showed me the liberating power of these emotions. Then he made me see how the Jedi Council has denied me what is mine by right. The Jedi Council gladly used my battle meditation in their wars, but they still treated me like a child, like an inferior. They were jealous of my power, of what I could become. They wanted me to bow and call them master and follow their code and obey their every order. But all the while, they were exploiting my battle meditation for their own use. Don't be f lured in by these Sith lies, Bastila. Lies? You were the one living a lie, Revan. The Jedi Council made you into something you are not. They programmed you to be their slave. You used to be Revan, master of the Sith. But no longer. You were simply a pawn of the Jedi Council in the Republic they serve. Like I was. Until Malak freed me from their shackles. A pity the power you once had is so diluted in you. You could have been as strong as I am now. Stronger even. But that will never happen now. With the power of the Starforge, Malak will destroy the Republic and conquer the galaxy. And I will be the apprentice at his side. After I prove my worth by killing you. Let's make this quick. Yep. This is quickly. Do that. She's gonna stop the fight. We're gonna talk again. <laughs> that was so quick! He was stronger than I would have thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to you. Seems that Malak was wrong. The power of the dark side is not lost to you after all, Revan. I draw my power from the light now, Bastila. You can deny what you are, Revan, but you're only fooling yourself. I know the truth. I have seen the shadows inside your mind, remember? I was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the Force to preserve your life, Revan. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. That is how I know you will come back to the light. These are not your true feelings, Revan. You are speaking as a tool of the Jedi Council, as I once did. But now I see how the Jedi used us both. The Council tried to exploit the bond between us. They hoped I would draw out your memories to lead them to the Star Forge. We were slaves to their will, like all who follow the Jedi Code. But in our shared visions of the star maps, I also felt the so-called taint within you. I resisted it at first, but now I embrace the power of the dark side. Your dark side. Learn from my mistakes. It is not too late to come back to the light. Mistakes? No, Revan. The only mistake you are making is the one you are making now. You deny yourself the power that is yours by right. Only now do I realize how strong you are. You deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not Malak. I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. I'm not Revan anymore. I don't even remember those days. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power, 
Your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once, long ago, you defied the Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. Hmm? You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. Turn away from this path, Basila. The dark side leads only to destruction. Basila, it is not too late for you to be saved. The teachings of the Jedi can lead you from the dark side back into the light and the true understanding of the Force. You are beneath my contempt, Juhani. When you felt the power of the dark side, you fled to a cave like some cowering animal. You know nothing of the Force or its true potential. But you, Revan, the power of the dark side is yours to command. You can use it to destroy Malak. With my help, you could rule over the entire galaxy. The Dark Lord Revan is dead. I am a servant of the light now. You were a pathetic fool, Revan. Together we could have defeated Malak and ruled over an empire. But now, I will be at Lord Malak's side instead. You will be crushed with the Republic and all the fools who bow down to the Jedi Council. No one can stand against the power of the Star Forge and the Sith fleet. Hmm. Well then. This is a problem, isn't it? Okay, so we had that very, very awkward conversation with Bastila. She goes off to join Malik on the ship. I don't think that's the last we're going to see of her. Not at all. Well, let's see what this thing does. Shut down the temple energy field or shut down the disruptor. Well, let's shut down the disruptor. Okay. And we shut down that and log out. I think it's fine if we shut it down, right? Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go turn in some stuff and we'll be all done with this planet. Terrible, terrible planet. I don't know if you can turn in the Mandalorian stuff, but we will certainly try. We'll make a quick trip uh, back to both of the Rakata um, bases. Well, the one Rakata base and then the beach might have uh, the availability for us to turn it in, but let's go turn in the information on genetics just for some extra XP. Because I believe that'll get shared to all of our party members. Uh, we are nearing the very, very end here. So thankfully, we've hit level 20. I believe it's possible for all of your companions to hit level 20, though I'm not entirely sure. It does require quite a lot of killing, but as you can see, it is possible to do it without farming anything. Uh, we haven't farmed in the game. We haven't, like, grinded out levels or anything like that. I'm just sort of, like, defeating everything that's in my path, choosing some options that'll give me more XP than others, fighting things when I can. I suppose I could have been doing way more security stuff and all that. That gets you some easy XP by, like, you know, triggering certain things, but... A lot of the times I didn't have T3 with me, so I guess I didn't end up doing that. Which is kind of crazy, because, like, I always do that. Oh, well. Let's go turn this in. We don't really need to talk to the Elders in general. Because all they want is for us to destroy the Star Forge, and we'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll talk to this guy, however. Hello, Bob I I found the genetic structure of your species. Yes, you have. Thank you. Thank you, Revan. This data will greatly aid in our research. You have done our people a great service here, Revan, but your destiny lies elsewhere. May the buttons of the elders go with you. Get some experience there. I feel like that should be a dark side option, considering there's a possibility that their empire will rise again. Like, even though they say it, like, we all know that that information can be used for bad things. Anyway. Let's return to the main beach. And I think that's where the person we can turn in the 
Invisible Mandalorians is. I, I don't know for sure. I think, like, because... I think because we... Um... Did the other thing. I don't, I don't think we can. But I'm not entirely sure on that. I don't know why the Candorous quest hasn't gone away for us yet. Because we've completed all the dialogue possible for Candorous. I think. Maybe I'll talk to him one last time and see if that clears up anything else on the ship, but we've done pretty much everything else. Alright. For some reason I thought we got Bastila back here, but now I'm remembering. You, you do fight her again up there. Which does mean that maybe I should take out those extra crystals from the double bladed and put them in Jahani's lightsaber. We'll just use Jahani, because she is powerful. She is a Jedi. Alright. Oh, well, there's a bunch of Ricotta here. Stop throwing grenades at me. You guys suck. Come on. There we go. I have a feeling he just won't talk to us because we're at odds with the other tribe. Oh, there's everybody waiting. Why is she walking so quickly? Oh, it's really weird. You're back. But where's Bastila? I is she alive? What happened inside that temple? Hmm. Bastila has fallen to the dark side. She fled to the Starforge. The dark side? Bastila? No. No. How could that happen? She was always in danger of being seduced by the dark side, Karth. Bastila was strong. She was always impatient and headstrong. Malak preyed upon her weakness. This planet is a tainted place. The Star Forge and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. She can still be saved, can't she? Malak has a strong hold on Bastila now. It will be difficult for her to break free of his influence, especially considering her long association with you. Remember the bond that was forged between you when she rekindled the spark that was your life. Through that bond, she touched your memories, and also the echo of the dark taint within you. But there's still hope for her, right? I mean, Revan rejected the dark side, so Basila could too, right? We still might be able to save her. It's true. We can try, and we will. I don't know what fate awaits us, but I sense Basila still has a role to play in the events to come. I have no doubt she will be waiting for us on the Star Force. No doubt. But let's go then before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. All right. So, uh, we, real quick, because it looks like I'm just going to be using, uh, I don't know if this is smart, but let's take a look at Jahani's. We have Jernux and Sapith. I'm just going to give you the Great Dragon Pearl. Oh, it's like the opposite of Sapith right now. Huh. Alright. In the next episode, we'll repair the hyperdrive and we'll get going to the Star Forge. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.